Nilsson, what was going on out there on this climb? Uh, 15 kilometer climb, and at one point it looked like you were done and dusted, but there was a, a, just a flash of pink on the screen in your back. Yeah, they, I knew they went too early. Well, maybe not Pugachar and Gaudu and Jonas, because those three are kind of in another league, but uh, everyone else, if they tried to follow there, we still had so long to go. I knew there was no way they were going to hold that pace. I mean, there's always uh, a risk because then you lose the draft. But I took the risk, and luckily there were some other guys that were probably thinking about the same strategy. And um, yeah, I feel like we, the guys from behind, we were racing uh, against each other, like trying to figure out who was doing more pulls in the wind because the headwind was quite strong. So it was just really strategic. Was it mostly headwind out there? Because it seemed to be blown in every direction. It's definitely headwind on the top here. Yeah, there were a few a few parts that were tailwind. There were some switchbacks, so every now and then you get maybe 500 meters of tailwind. Um, but the whole the final two, probably 2K of the race was uh, a bit of a headwind. So just had to time time the efforts well. And uh, yeah, I was worried. I made one good effort just outside of 1K to go. Uh, and they brought me back, and I was I was assuming that was my last one, but luckily I was able to recover from it and give it one more push to the finish. And only Yates got you out of that group. Uh, was he one of those ones that was managing things well back there with you, him and uh, Bardet, maybe? Yeah, I think Yates was probably the smartest one in the race today, um, at least apart from the front three. He, uh, I just I followed him when he went. Uh, he's got a lot of experience on climbs like these, and just a lot of experience in the. World Tour, he's a bit of an older rider compared to the rest of us that were up there. So I was just playing off of him, tried to watch him, see what he was doing, and luckily it paid off for me. This is experience is paying off for you. That's what's happening. And, and you're fifth now on this stage. It's going to move you a bit up the GC, and it means a lot for you here on probably what is the Queen stage going into tomorrow's final stage. Yeah, tomorrow will probably be the most tricky of the whole race. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I probably know that route better than anything else. Uh, I probably ride that exact route about two or three times a week. So. Um, hopefully, it's a, hopefully I can take advantage of that. You're proud with how you managed it today. I am, yeah. I think I got the most out of myself.